have been struggling all year with the speed stop, and we knew that this speed stop would go in our favor, and you know what, it did. So with that, whew, we got that out of the way. Now we're looking forward to the autocross, and we've been strong all year long in, in the autocross. And so we were kind of licking our chops, but you know what, it didn't go that way. We got out here, it was the biggest heat of the day, the track was hot and very, very slippery. And compared to the times that were run in the morning by the other group, the times just weren't there for us. The heat played a factor for sure. You know, the surface is hot, the cars are hot, the tires are hot. It is hot and muggy out here. You know, I'm, I'm from the mountain states, Utah, we're west of the Rockies. Uh, it's very dry, you know, we're starting to get up in the 80s and 90s, but I'm just not used to this heat. And these tires and this heat on this, you know, surface, um, they were really greasy, it was slippery and it was impossible to put power down. My first lap, which was, you're just trying to learn the track, was the fastest lap that I had for about two hours. The key here is to stay as close to the top guys as possible. If, if you're not gonna win a component, an autocross or a speed stop, at least be second, at least be right next to the guy who's in front of you. Because the more cars that got, get in between you, the less chances you have to pass that person for the win. My car was working well. I, I liked the course. Uh, the only thing that I was really struggling with was I was kind of in between gears, but but the car was really hooked up and handling really well. And honestly, I didn't even, I didn't make any changes to the car. It seems like it's got grip, but it doesn't. And the harder I pushed, the slower I went. And Brian Johnson has beaten me every single time we've raced against each other. I've won a little bit here and there on, on courses, but not an overall win uh, at, at an event. You know, we were in the morning group. Uh, Jordan and I were battling, but I was kind of, kind of on top for most of the morning for the GT class, and it seemed like overall I had a pretty good time set, so, so I was really happy. In the autocross, we're generally top, you know, three. Uh, we were only able to come in six this weekend just because we were struggling with the brake setup and with the, you know, grip situation. Um, so it was definitely a struggle for us. You know, there, there's a, a pretty significant cost associated with us coming, you know, 2,200 miles each way to run these events. Um, if you don't leave here learning something that you can apply to the next event, then you just wasted money. First run, we ran a 42.9. I think that's respectable for the first run of the day, but Brian Johnson's at a 140.8, so we've got 2.1 seconds to go find here in the next two hours. I'm trying to make up the time. I'm trying to remember where I'm supposed to be on the track. It's pretty big. Uh, it's pretty technical, too. There's uh, areas where you think the car can go faster, and it just can't. We got to get close. I mean, we got to leapfrog a bunch of people. I was sh shocked that it wasn't faster, even with the bobble down there. In autocross, it's different than road racing. In road racing, you push, 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 push. You attack, attack, attack. And that's kind of how I was born and raised. And in autocross, you just can't do that. You can't overcharge corners because you will pay the price on the exit. You will pay the price further on down the road on that course. So it's extremely technical. You have to be disciplined. It looked better through the slalom. Yeah. That looked like. And I was just. Right. cruising through there. But it looked like the car, it, it, it instantly, like it, it looked like front grip through there was good. The car feels good, I think it feels good, but the times aren't there. You know, there's times when you can tell that there's something wrong with the way the car's handling or how the car's working, and okay, I need to work on that. That's the importance of having adjustability in your car. With our Detroit Speed Suspension, JRI shocks, it gives us the ability to make changes when you need to. You gonna keep making changes? Yeah, yeah. You gotta stay close, you can't panic. You just gotta keep driving hard and, and see what happens. Let's do one more. You know, and I'll try to push a little harder when I should, you know. Trying to gain too much time in a short amount of time, and it's like, don't do that. Go slow where you're supposed to go slow. Don't overcharge that corner because it's going to make for a, a slow lap time in the end. You're better off just going slow, letting it roll, pick up the throttle, and get out of there. If 
feels fast and you go, oh, this is it. And you go slow. I ran full traction control, everything. I went fastest run of the day. And in the past, we've just kind of stuck with it and it was all on me and I kept going, trying to go faster. And it, we waited too long to make any adjustments to the car. It's rear traction. I'm not able to put the power down and, long, and get the car moving forward. Now, I don't change my driving style. That's got to be the, the consistent point because then the feedback is different if you do that. I have to drive consistently so that I can tell him, okay, the rear end isn't sticking, the front end isn't sticking, it's got too much uh, body roll in the front or in the rear. I've got to be able to give consistent feedback and from there he can adjust the car to solve that problem. Positive change? Yeah, it was positive, okay. definitely. It was definitely more quicker, How nimble. Was forward bike? It was good in the slow speed, high speed, it, I had push. I know and he knows that we're getting down to the wire and we need to go stick a time in here. We got to take a big swing at this. Yeah. You know, we're out to lunch. It takes a lot of concentration when you're driving these cars because every course changes. Every course is different. From speed stop to autocross to road course, you've got to have the right mindset. And you better be focused or else you're not going to go fast or even worse. Just give me one more run. That's yeah. all I need. So we changed everything in the car and kept doing it until the time started coming to us. Hmm. Patience is the number one factor on an autocross course. Good job, bud. You know, drama can. <laughs> hey, I'm driving the same. I don't know what, man. It just, it's there now. We were able to leapfrog a bunch of people. If I didn't improve, we would have been hosed. So, um, you know, patience came into play. We kept working and working and working. I, I was to the point where I wasn't even getting out of the car. I was just focusing on what I had to do. These barn burners are killing me. Yeah. But well, hey, you're not making me any younger. <laughs> In the end, my last run was my fastest run, so hey, I'll take it. Oh.